Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 12. And this is a biggie here. This is a biggie. You know, there are some Christians out there that say, you know, every single word of the Bible is the word of God. It's all the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Every single word is God's word. Well, you know what? They haven't read this verse. And if they did, they either ignored it or they didn't understand it. Let's read it. Paul says, but to the rest, I, not the Lord say, (laughs) let me say this again, but to the rest, I, not the Lord say. Paul here makes it very clear from here on in, I'm speaking, okay? I'm speaking here, not God. Okay, this is my words. This is not God's words. And you know, I brought up this verse and I pointed out this verse and this concept to a number of Christians who hold fast that every single word of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation is God's word. And they just don't know what to say about it. Hey, you know, I'm not saying that the Bible's not God's word. If it says, thus saith the Lord, then thus saith the Lord. If it says this is what God says, then that's what God says. I'm just believing what it says about itself. I take the scripture for what it says about itself, okay? There are lots of times it does say, thus saith the Lord. Is that the word of God? Yes, it is. But there are lots of times that doesn't say that. It doesn't specify that it's the word of God. Does that mean it's not the word of God? Not necessarily, but Here, in this particular portion right here, Paul makes it very clear. I'm the one that's saying this. It's not the Lord. This is my word, not God's word. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you seek him with all your heart, I guarantee you, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.